Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in which he expressed a strong condemnation of the terrorist act which targeted two Aramco oil facilities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty underscored Bahrain's absolute support to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in all measures taken to protect its institutions and defend its interests. He affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain stands by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in fighting terrorism and all all attempts to undermine its security and stability. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, in which he expressed strong condemnation of the terrorist act that targeted two Aramco oil facilities in Saudi Arabia. His Majesty underscored Bahrain's absolute support to Saudi Arabia in all measures taken to maintain its security and stability. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, President Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and Bahraini artist Khalid Sheikh, who presented to His Majesty the 2019 Aga Khan Award for Architecture by Prince Karim Aga Khan for BACA's revitalization of Muharra project, which was held in Kazan, Russia. His Majesty the King congratulated BACA and its members for winning the award and hailed their efforts in preserving Bahraini national heritage and historic landmarks, affirming the importance of maintaining archaeological buildings and houses and the revival of old cities for the reflection of the authentic Bahraini identity of Bahrain. Sheikh Hamay expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for supporting the culture and heritage sector in the kingdom and said that Bahrain's winning the award is the result of years of efforts to to revive the old city of Muharraq. She also briefed His Majesty on BACA's initiative to celebrate the national holidays and the 20th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne through organizing an opera titled The 20th Message, led by artist Khalid al-Sheikh and accompanied by a group of Bahraini artists at the Bahrain National Theatre next December. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the initiative, which comes part of its keenness to participate in all national occasions and in enrich the cultural movements in the country, wishing the BACA president and members continued success and progress. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qutaybiyah Palace Board Chairman and members of Bahrain's Small and Medium Enterprises, the SME's Development Society, led by the Society's Honorary President Farooq Yusuf Al Muayyad and President MP Ahmed Sabah Al Saloum. His Royal Highness hailed the role of SMEs in advancing Bahrain's comprehensive development through its contribution in diversifying the production and commercial base, affirming that it is an added value for the national economy. The Prime Minister asked added that the private sector and the SME sector provide a fertile environment for launching entrepreneurship and innovative and also noted the government's keenness to provide all facilitations that ensure the appropriate environment to achieve high rates of growth. He affirmed the government's appreciation of the SME's contributions in serving Bahrain's sustainable development through its projects and investments that support the kingdom's efforts in terms of economic diversification. The Premier stressed that the part partnership between the public and private sectors is an essential pillar for the success of various development efforts and that the government's in programs and strategies attach to great importance to consolidate this partnership. His Royal Highness expressed pleasure in listening to the SME society in all that concerns economic and commercial affairs and the keenness on surmounting all obstacles they may face. For his part, on behalf of the board of directors of the SME society, Farooq al muayyad expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support of the private sector, which embodies His Royal Highness's belief in the important role of SMEs in serving the Kingdom's Sustainable Development March. He also hailed His Royal Highness's support and directives, which contributed in developing the sustained the situation and shares of SMEs, stressing its role in supporting the national economy. 
His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qatabia Palace a Thai commercial delegation headed by the Thai ambassador to Bahrain, Tanis Nasonkla, where they delivered a briefing on the most prominent Thai investment companies in various commercial and investment activities, especially in treatment, medical, and healthcare. His Royal Highness affirmed that the outstanding relations between Bahrain and Thailand witness continuous growth that reflects the two countries' keenness on bolstering cooperation. He he stressed the importance of utilizing the advanced levels of bilateral relations and establishing further economic and commercial partnerships. His Royal Highness highlighted the promising opportunities that contribute to developing growth in the two countries in light of the long history of understanding and joint coordination. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed Thailand's development in various fields, asserting the importance of increasing visits between officials and business people in the two countries for their vital role in bolstering bilateral cooperation. For their part, the Thai delegation members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for supporting various efforts aimed at bolstering bilateral cooperation, affirming that His Royal Highness's support contributed to strengthening relations. They expressed aspiration to increase joint investments in Bahrain and to take advantage of the facilitations and investment attracting environment, hailing the Kingdom's advancement in various domains. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the President of the United States Donald J. Trump at the White House in Washington, D.C. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince began by conveying the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad and the people of Bahrain to President Trump. His Royal Highness highlighted the solid relations between the two countries that are based on shared values and ideals. President Trump welcomed the Crown Prince, expressing honor to meeting His Royal Highness. The President asserted the United States' unwavering support to Bahrain, which was highlighted by the tremendous security, economic and trade relations. The Crown Prince noted that the long-standing relations between Bahrain and the U.S. are based on defense initiatives, trade agreements and cultural bonds, which support the security and economic prosperity of both countries. His Royal Highness went on to stress the importance of these discussions in further enhancing security and trade cooperation. His Royal Highness and President Trump then discussed strategies to maintain security in the Arabian Gulf, emphasizing the importance of countering those who seek to undermine stability in the region and further afield. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to be with the Crown Prince of Bahrain. He is a friend of mine, and the country is a friend of ours. We're always going to be with them, and I know they're always going to be with us. We have a tremendous relationship militarily, but we have also a tremendous economic relationship, trade, uh, and we're going to be discussing all of those things. We'll certainly be discussing what took place over the last two days in Saudi Arabia. And uh, we'll be discussing the Middle East. But our relationship has never been stronger than it is right now. And I think that is largely based on the relationship that we have. So I look forward to having our discussion. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great pleasure to be here. Would you like to say something? Well, I would like to say thank the President for receiving me and my delegation uh, here today. I'm here to convey the greetings of His Majesty and the people of Bahrain to strengthen the relationship, which is based on shared values, where they overlap. Uh, ideals. We primarily, as the President said, are going to focus on discussions related to security enhancement and trade enhancement. We signed today a agreement to purchase additional, or to purchase our first uh, Patriot missile battery systems, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Good job. 
Absolutely. And we, we seek to strengthen America's ability to trade with the world, and we have some concrete ideas on how we can do that. Well, thank you very much. Thank I'm you for the day you. and spending time with you. And thank you all very much. I'll be doing a news conference outside in a little while, just part of the trip to London, New Mexico, and to other places for two and a half days, and many of you will be with us, and I look forward to that. But in particular, I look forward to our meeting. Thank you. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the Vice President of the United States and Mike Pence. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the enduring strength of Bahrain U.S. relations, noting that the partnership is based on close security, trade, and cultural ties. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of maintaining these key alliances in the face of continued threats, both in the Arabian Gulf region and internationally. In this regard, His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's record in the fight against extremism and terrorism. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also stressed that coordinated action is essential to continued regional stability and economic development. Later, His Royal Highness and the Vice President signed an agreement to acquire Patriot surface-to-air missile system equipment for Bahrain, which will form a vital component of the Bahrain Defense Forces combat readiness strategy. The Vice President of the United States then held the lunch banquet in honor of His Royal Highness the Prince, where he lauded Bahrain's contributions towards promoting peace in the region, maritime security and countering terrorism. Under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister, President of the Supreme Committee for Information and Communication Technology, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, the inauguration ceremony of the Smart Application for the Development of Services launched by the Southern Governorate has been held today at the invitation of the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Minister of Interior General, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, a number of ministers and senior officials in the kingdom. In a statement, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali for his invitation to patronize the launch, which comes in line with the government's efforts and endeavor to enhance communication with its residents and provide smart services in terms of speed and quality, expressing appreciation in, to the Minister of Interior for his efforts and directives in this regard. He stated that the initiative comes as part of the government's endeavor and efforts to develop e-services in all sectors to be in line with the accelerating technology development. He invited all government authorities and bodies to cooperate to continue the development of services in the information technology sector. In his speech, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak for patronizing the ceremony and to all its organizers. He stated that the Southern Governorate witnesses comprehensive development and prosperity in the security, social and developmental fields during the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, hailing the pivotal role of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the future vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak opened the Southern application, then a short film was screened highlighting the application's goals. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak honored Viva Company, the strategic partner. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali then presented His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak with a commemorative gift. The Deputy Premier toured the exhibition that included a number of achievements in the field of communication, security, and development projects.
The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended the concluding ceremony of the Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa Award for Voluntary Work. He affirmed the importance of this award for humanitarian work and congratulated the winners and the organizers of the event. The Honorary President of the Basketball Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed that unity is the method to achieve stability for the society and encourage the new generations to take on the path of volunteerism. He added that the award enhances the voluntary march of the kingdom, which enhances the progress of the society as well as meeting the needs of the people. He expressed thanks and appreciation for the support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in this regard. He said that the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, is aware of the importance of the civil society institutions and affirmed its keenness to provide the facilitations needed for these institutions. He congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on his initiative being adopted by the UN to set the 5th of April of every year as the International Day of Conscience, which affirms His Royal Highness's efforts in spreading peace. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali announced the launch of the Preparing of Youth Leaders initiatives with the cooperation of the Arabic Institute in Kuwait, which aims to encourage the youth to assume leadership positions in the both the public and private sectors and dedicated their efforts efforts to serving the country in all fields, as well as enhance the GCC cooperation. He highlighted the role of the award in creating role models and called for collective efforts to serve the country and the society. He also praised the support of the Deputy Prime Minister Zainal Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa in his role in supporting initiatives that serve the kingdom. He called on the winners to keep up the noble work in order to enhance the status of the kingdom and the Arab world and build a better future. The President of the Good Word Society Hassan Abu Hazza delivered a speech in which he praised the role of the award in showcasing the voluntary march of the kingdom as well as the importance of doing humanitarian work across the Arab region. He affirmed the importance of collective efforts in building the future and meeting the needs of the society through eliminating all challenges facing the sustainable development march. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali then honored 14 people from 13 Arab countries and praised their contributions in serving their societies.
The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Endowments and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Dr. Mohammed Mukhtar Jama, where he conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his appreciation for the efforts of the Egyptian Ministry of Endowments in supporting righteousness, upholding moderation and tolerance. The SCIA President conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al. Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. For his part, the Egyptian Minister of Endowments hailed the participation of Sheikh Abdurrahman, heading Bahrain's delegation to the 30th International Conference of Islamic Affairs Supreme Council in Egypt. The two sides reviewed a number of topics on Islamic affairs, as well as the challenges that face the nation and the means of addressing them, expressing pride in the relations between the Egyptian Supreme Council for Islamic affairs and its Bahraini counterparts. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, headed Bahrain's participating delegation in the MENA Innovation 2019 Official Ministerial Forum for ICT Innovation and Technology, held in Oman with the participation of a number of Arab education ministers, officials, specialists in the industry and entrepreneurship sector, Arab and foreign investors, academics in the field of ICT employment in the education sector, and 70 international companies in the fields of education, communication, and the information technology. The minister participated in the ministerial discussion session in which he addressed issues related to the readiness of MENA countries to adopt innovative education within their educational systems and the benefits of active learning for students and teachers. And I may highlight the application of learning based on educational technology and modern teaching methods in Bahrain. He discussed Bahrain's most notable achievements at the educational level and highlighted the ministry's efforts in caring for students through the Gifted Student Center and the INJAS Project for Entrepreneurship Training, Incubation of Graduation Projects, Scientific and Creative Clubs, and Participations in Regional and International Competitions. The Minister also discussed the development of higher education in Bahrain, strengthening partnership with private sector institutions, offering quality academic programs, and the establishment of the Bahrain Teachers College. As part of the official visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the United States, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Sheikh Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani met with the U.S. Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross during the meeting, which touched on the depth of historic relations between Bahrain and the U.S. The distinguished bilateral trade relations between Bahrain and the U.S. have been highlighted, which culminated in the free trade agreement with the United States and had a major major role in promoting trade exchange between the two countries. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism discussed the steps taken by the Kingdom over the past few years in order to enhance the attractive features of investment in the Kingdom. The President of Uzbekistan, Shavkat Merzioyev, received the President of the Asian Football Confederation and FIFA Senior Vice President, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, upon his visit to the country. During the meeting, Sheikh Salman conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Uzbekistani President and his wishes of progress and prosperity to the country. For his part, the Uzbekistani President asked Sheikh Salman to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his wishes of lasting good health health and further progress and prosperity to Bahrain. He also highlighted the efforts of Sheikh Salman in developing the Asian Football March and expressed appreciation for the role of the Asian Football Confederation in promoting the sports across the continent. 30 Bahraini artists and artisans participated in the La Biennale Paris, one of the most famous one of the most famous art exhibitions in the world. Bahraini artists had presented more than 40 contemporary Bahraini artworks and 11 woodwork crafts, the first time that traditional Bahraini craftsmen have been part of the kingdom's art delegation at this 55-year-old international exhibition. Bahrain's participation in the exhibition was organized by the Art Bob Initiative, supported by Temkin by its Board of Trustees Chairman Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of the Director General of the of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King's Office, Sheikh, Sheikh Maram bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain's Ambassador to France, Dr. Mohammed Abdel Ghaffar, and a number of art enthusiasts.
the whole idea of the Bahrain Pavilion is to bring uh, a bit of Bahrain to France. Uh, and you see that from um, beginning from the entrance where we welcome you with the aqua water of uh, Bahrain, which is depicted by the carpet. And of course, uh, the gem, our, our pearl, the natural pearl, which is home, uh, which finds its home in the Bahraini waters. And um, the water of Bahrain leads you up until to the Bahrain Pavilion, where you're greeted by uh, the door that opens and takes you into Bahrain. The idea was to take people uh, in the minimum time a walk through Bahrain. What you, when you enter, you walk through our uh, legacy, our artisanal wealth, uh, where, where there is a curated um, section called the Bahrain Room. Uh, 16 pieces of collectible furniture have been uh, designed uh, by designer JJ Valaya, but created by our artisans who have worked uh, through the various mediums which have been a part of Bahrain's legacy. The first GCC PropTech Time event was held today, gathering delegates from over 20 countries to discuss trends in PropTech and the potential for its growth in the Gulf. It's organized by Hex GN in partnership with the Bahrain Economic Development Board, the EDB. More on this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. GCC PropTech Time Summit 2019 gathers industry experts from around the world, convening for carefully curated and power-packed sessions about PropTech, organized by Bahrain Economic Development Board and Hexgen. Why is this conference different from some of the other tech ones? I'll tell you, the style in most tech conferences, you go to those conferences, you see the tech firms talking. Here, I wanted the tech firms to listen and I put all the owners, all the family offices, all the people with problems on the panels. You tell them what the opportunities are, they tell them what the, uh, 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 what the problems and challenges are, and we wanted the companies to listen to you that there is a real market here, because that's what entrepreneurs do very well. They take those problems and they go and come back with solutions. Bahrain's ecosystem and business landscape has an edge over the other hubs in the region, as per the findings by Hexgen. I think Bahrain uh, is an amazing place for people to start their business and go outside to the whole MENA market. There are very few places in the world which welcome everyone because one of the most unique things about Bahrain is the whole country is a free zone. And the amazing initiatives which have been done here, like the AWS coming in, uh, the educational courses getting launched, support from Tamkeen, EDB going all across. And interestingly, when we uh, did our PropTech time survey, globally across with different people, and we were looking at emerging hubs, Bahrain came as the, in the top three emerging hubs in the world for the MENA region. And not many people know, MENA has uh, more than uh, $2 trillion in construction projects in pipeline. Now that's much bigger than any other market in the world. The summit saw some interesting insights come out through the round tables and also witnessed an array of innovative startups pitching for funds during the event. It provided a platform for engaging discussions by more than 15 experts from Bahrain, Japan, USA, Germany, India, Saudi Arabia, Russia and Hong Kong in five productive sessions. My first time in Bahrain. I'm coming from Hong Kong because I am invited by the uh, GCC PropTech Time 2019 uh, to be uh, speaking in this uh, conference. Uh, I also moderate a section about uh, the how to use data and also the uh, IoT and some deep technologies in real estate sector. So I talk to different panelists here, uh, share our experience about uh, using the data analytics. The summit today is just uh, awesome. I mean, uh, Jabrit have uh, given us really a broad and uh, um, really wide uh, uh, range of um, information and uh, about PropTech and what is PropTech right now. I mean, you could see uh, uh, maintenance apps. You could see. Um, apps for or startups who, who are evaluating lands and uh, that's uh, really uh, getting our ourselves in the market lots of big companies are transforming uh, to this new technology uh, i would like to thank edb for taking this initiative and gather all the industry under one roof whether it's a uh, uh, developers, uh, end-users, uh, financial institutes. 
the GCC PropTech Time Summit 2019 has activated a new PropTech energy within the Bahraini ecosystem, sparking growth and conversations around PropTech in Bahrain. Technology will play a significant role in how real estate will be leased, built, financed and even managed. This is what's under discussion today at the first GCC PropTech Time Summit in Bahrain. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hibab Abdul